Moscow, seen from the Sparrow Hills. Stalin-era skyscrapers masterminded to make the architectural foundation of a totalitarian state's capital. The countless golden domes of Orthodox churches. Here's another Moscow, a third Rome as it was called in ancient Russia. The view is being changed forever. You could hardly name a modern city that's developing its landscape faster. Dozens of new buildings have appeared in Moscow over the last three years. Unique and ambitious, some of them are considered to be in bad taste, others a significant breakthrough in architectural design. Many old timers hardly survive. Some of them are hidden behind giant advertising hoardings. Some, surprisingly, are decked in bright modern colors. And some just can't live through the never-ending changes. A small, calm world in the center of Moscow. It seems time stopped here years ago. Alexander is an architect and Moscow historian. He showed us what he calls the real Moscow. For him, this old yard may be the last place where that unique, out-of-time spirit remains. This place is alive. In modern Moscow yards, you won't see children playing, people drying linen on the line. Advertisements for new houses proclaim they're prestigious and convenient, but the word coziness disappears from use. Nowadays, this spirit has almost disappeared. Alexander leads us to the Trubnaya Square, a hundred meters away. Four parkways once crossed each other here, making a beautiful view. Now it's a huge construction site with vast banners on ugly-looking safety fences. Whole blocks of buildings built before the revolution were demolished, and they exist now only as fake facades. <laughs> 